I'm telling you, if I wasn't married, I, I could have moved on from looking at red color and start talking to somebody just because of her red car, not because it's what the Holy Ghost wants me to do. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is how we got involved in, into certain relationship. Because of what the person has. If you look at what they have, you think, wow, they are cool. They have a good watch, good chains, good hair coat. Hello, somebody. And sometimes we don't even know some of those things we are borrowed. Oh, Holy Ghost, help me somebody. Holy Ghost, help me somebody. That, that's why I told you last time, don't borrow nails anymore. Don't, don't borrow nails. Because it doesn't make you look good, somebody. Are you still borrowing some nails? And if you really want to borrow the real nails, hey, let me know. I cut mine off every few weeks. <laughs> because your time is money. Your time is currency. Hello, somebody. You are as rich as how much you use your time. How far do you use your time? If you use less your time, you use less the finances that will come into your life, the connections that will come into your life, the knowledge that will come into your life. Either you're reading, listening, sharing. Don't waste your time. Hello? Some of you have been sleeping. I keep saying this. You've been sleeping for years. If you calculate how many years you have slept, you'll be amazed how many years you've slept since you were born. Doing nothing with your time. There are books you can write. You, you have not documented your experience. How can you live this world without documenting your experience, experience for your generation to read? Amen. I'm not living right now. Okay? But any day I live, God forbid, not now. But any day I live, my generation will have something to read about their grandfather. Amen. Hello? That we have so I have a lot I want to write, and my prayers is for God to keep me alive. Amen. So I, I don't want to die without documenting those things. It will be a waste of knowledge. Wow. Do you know you can write just like a pamphlet? Wow. Hello, am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Just a pamphlet. Talk about yourself, wow. how you grew, where you went to school, how you got married, yeah. how you give birth to your children, how you managed to raise them, the struggles you have. Yeah. Just write about it. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Everybody is a writer because your life is the best story. Yeah. So we use our time to keep talking to Sissy. Sissy, do you know what Margaret did? Oh, Lord. You need to know. Three hours. You're still talking to Sissy. But in church, you don't want to stay up to one hour. You spend time, you waste your energy, you keep talking, and then by the time you drop that phone, you are empty. Because you're talking to Sissy. Are we making sense? If you look at those that are your friends, look at what is, what is in them, how they live their life, that's what you watch. You can speak into their life, but they shouldn't be your friend. 